this is what we do now, huh? You just get your phone out, you talk into it, you practice your shit, you don't have to go in front of a real audience, have consequences, you don't have to worry about shit, you just redo it if it didn't work out right, and you just post it up on the internet, it's like, it's not live, it's not real, it's not like doing real stand-up, like I've been doing my whole fucking life, now you guys can just go on the internet, and you can just, woohoo! I'm funny now. I can go on the internet and I can do a blog and I can do a, a webcast or some shit. I'm telling you, it's awesome. It really is. It's awesome because I live in the fucking middle of nowhere. I have no way of getting my shit out. I sometimes perform to like four people or five people, little shithole bars around the country here. I live in the middle of nowhere, in eastern Oregon. You have to drive like hundreds of miles to get to any fucking where from where I'm at. You know, but I do. I drive around with my dogs, you know. We get in the car, and we just pile in, and then they sleep out there. Sometimes we just crash in the parking lot or out in the woods somewhere. You know, it's a hard life. It's the real thing. It's not just getting on the internet, you know, practicing some stuff, doing your shtick. Trying it again till you think it's funny. Then you put it on your internet web. And then that's it, you know. Frankly, I blame Joe Rogan. That's right. Joe Rogan. And the reason I blame Joe Rogan is simple. Because Joe Rogan is everywhere. You can't avoid Joe Rogan on the internet. I don't get cable out here. I got to use the internet webs. So I, I, I get on the internet, get some entertainment, and it's just all fucking Joe Rogan. Like, I try to go, I go, I need to fix my roof. You know, I go on, I look at some roofing material. Joe Rogan tells you how to fix a roof. I'm like, who the fuck's Joe? Why does Joe Rogan... Know? Okay, there's not one like that, but it'd be, you know, it's more like, it's more like you go, it's like you're looking for Trump, you, know, you see something on Trump, you watch the video on, on the Facebook, and there he is again. Joe Rogan tells, uh, fucking Joey Basso, or, or Eddie fucking somebody, uh, what he thinks about Trump, and then you're talking with some MAA fighters about Donald Trump, like who the fuck gives a shit what these guys, to get look, I fought. I fought. I did that. I did everything. Look, anything that that Joe Rogan does, I can do pretty much. Matter of fact, I know Joe Rogan. We were friends a long time, but he doesn't remember it. He denies it. I mean, I've tried to talk to people about it. I said, like, look, Joe Rogan and I hung out. We're like the same age. You know, we both had hippie parents. Our parents knew each other way back when. And like we've had encounters several times, various different things. Like he just doesn't remember, you know, but I'm going to refresh his memory. I'm going to be getting on here every day. I'm going to be talking about things me and Joe Rogan used to do. Because Joe Rogan, Joe Rogan, Joe Rogan. Because that's the way to get on here, really. You, get, you just got to get. The name hooked. Which, like all my skits now are going to have Joe Rogan's name in it. Because the motherfucker owns the internet. And you can't get anywhere unless you know Joe Rogan. You know. It's like I think he's a, I think he's the gatekeeper now. I think Joe Rogan's the big gatekeeper now in the industry. He's like, yeah, I don't know about this guy. You know. And that's probably why he didn't have me on the show. We were supposed to do it. It was a while back. I forget. He bumped me for fucking Bob Jones or something. And then next day, next week, he had some fucking stretch guy who could do like stretch really good or something. It was really good. Actually, I learned a lot and I've been doing the hand things, Joe. It's helping my shoulders a lot. But, but you know, you have what? You have fucking, who was it? Bob, I can't remember his name. He could barely speak. It was boring, Joe. It wasn't funny. I would have been funny. You could have had me on. I would have been funny. Oh, man. <sighs> Let me calm down. Thing is, like, I live out here in just dirt, desert, middle of Oregon. I mean, I, I got a little weed I can smoke. That's about it. That's all I got to do really out here is just smoke weed and work on my house, which I don't like doing. It's hard, you know, and I avoid it a lot. That's all I got to do. 
and and write stuff and put it on these blogs. So Joe Rogan, you're in for it because I'm coming for you because of the whole, you know, the whole snub thing, you know. And then you act like you don't know me. You act like you've never heard of me. You know, people ask you, well, what about this Jubal Chaplin? He says you snubbed him. He said you were supposed to come on the show and you're like, I fucking don't know what you're talking about. And like, that's real cute, Joe. That's real cute. Right. Okay. Well, yeah. Okay.